All right, hi, I'm Marcus C. Williams. All right, can we first start off with God bless America? Yeah, God bless America. God bless America. Right, we must remember our foundations and what our nation was principles and the values that our nation was founded upon. Real quick, we've known for a long time that the left has inserted themselves inside our electoral process. They've inserted themselves inside all of the bureaucracies on all of the levels of government that we have. We know that they've decided that they want to invade our public school systems and even many of the private school systems. And it is time that we, as people who have the actual values and principles in our heart that our nation was founded upon, actually stand up and say no more. All right. I'm running for the 137th Assembly District, and I am very appreciative to everybody who has nominated me, for all of the friends and family in this room that I have, and the people that I have grown to know and love, and everybody at this illustrious table that we have <laughs> Some of the hardest working, most I, I just can't say I'd be here all night just talking about the wonderment of these individuals. But we got the time that we need to rise, which is now. I think that we all know that, right? Yep. The time is now for us to take action. There's never been a more pressing time. We see the issues and the crises all across our nation, but not just here, across the world. And with that being said, here in Rochester, in Monroe County, we can no longer afford to have one party rule. We need real representation in the halls of assembly. We need real representation on the county level. We need real representation that represents each and every one of you as individuals. Amen. But the way that we get that is we as individuals must get active. I do my best to encourage every single one of you to take a bigger role in your activities as far as being citizens of our great nation. Because if we don't go out this year, and if we don't have the people to door knock, if we don't have the people that can donate funds, if we don't have the people to make the phone calls, all of these beautiful dreams of a better future that we may have, or a return to our past values, a return to the old ways, because the old ways were good, right? Yep. Right? Okay, if we want to return to those things, it's going to be up to all of us, every single person in this room, but not just the people in this room. Five, ten of your friends, twenty of your associates, hell, tell your enemies that have the same type of ideas as you. Okay, but we have to get people active. I look through this room, there is a sea of new faces that have come in over the years since I've been here, and we've got more people that are more motivated now than ever. But we must take action. We cannot longer, no longer sit on our laurels and just say, oh, well, I'm mad at the TV. We can't be mad at the TV. We can't be mad at the lies of the name. Excuse me. We can't be mad at the lies of the names that they put on these bills telling them that telling us that they're good for us when we know that they're full of malarkey. Okay, and that's me putting it nicely for present company. Okay? We know that we deserve better. But in order to get better, it's gonna be up to every person in this room to do just a little more than you did last year. Just a little more. Make one more phone call. Do one more door knock. Encourage one other person to get active. And if I can only do one thing myself, that would be to encourage all of you to express your civic duty as American citizens to stand up for our foundational principles and values, the founding of our nation, and stand up for our flag with pride because we are the American citizens and we must stand for ourselves because government will never serve us unless we hold them accountable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm running for accountability. But more so than that, I am running for each and every one of you in this room, whether you are in my district or not. So I really encourage you and I, I implore you, please assist me with my campaign in any way that you can, whether it's making a phone call, whether it's telling a friend, whether it's sending an email, or whether it's encouraging somebody else. If you can donate, you guys know that donations are very important. 
and a lot of people have not been donating to the Republican Party. But I would encourage you to definitely at least donate to me so that we can <laughs> <laughs> okay. The district that I that I am running for has been entrenched with representation from one side is Democrats that do not care about anything else but their own pocketbooks. And look at that. While you see them filling their coffers, your pocketbooks and your purses are starting to feel a little bit light. Your 401ks, your IRAs, your investments, a lot of them are seeming a little bit light. When you go to the store, there's no more local dairy hardly anywhere to be found. Eggs are sourced from other places. We've got some of the best apple orchards in the world in New York State. How come all of my apple juice says 15 other countries? Okay, we need to return a focus in New York on New York because New York matters. So many of our friends and family have left, but we have stayed to fight and we must fight for what is right. And this year is our year to take it across the finish line. And I appreciate your time. Thank you guys very much. You guys be blessed, be well, and remember, stand up, speak up, and don't shut up.